Hey ladies and gents, Professor Wagner once again, this time looking at the uh, process of sperm formation. So we see here, this is actually showing the process of spermiogenesis, not spermatogenesis. Remember, the process of spermatogenesis is essentially the entire process from um, meiosis all the way through actual formation of a sperm. Spermiogenesis just takes place from the formation of the spermatid or spermatid to a functional sperm cell itself. So what we're seeing here is essentially the spermatids forming and developing into sperm, whereas you can see the flagella is created, we have the mitochondria start lining up, we see the excess cytoplasm starting to get uh, essentially sloughed off. And here we actually see the, the fully functional sperm. So here we see the head, which is the first part of the sperm cell itself. Uh, the head contains both the nuclear material as well as what's called the acrosome, which contains enzymes to dissolve through the outer, essential proteinaceous force field of the oocyte itself. Here we can see the middle piece, which contains the mitochondria. This makes the ATP to drive the movement of the flagella, which allows the sperm to actually swim and gets where it's going, gives it its, its locomotive capabilities.